Hey guys, I was feeling a bit nostalgic after I was looking for uh, one of my other, in some research, and looking through some old boxes that I had because I knew that I had some stuff from way back when that I had written. And uh, I don't know if I was going to take pictures of what I wrote and show you and everything and stuff and what age it is. Of course, everything isn't dated and stuff like that, so it, it's neither here nor there. But in the process of trying to find some stuff that I even said, like, over 35 years ago now uh, some of that's definitely shown to be true and I'm showing it in some of my videos there's a twist on it and I can live with that twist definitely as I learn more and more anyhow what kind of car you think this is this is the first car that I ever had well I guess it ruins it here it's saying Toyota Celica GT Classic right there at the top of it but a uh, difference of mine and his, and I've got a picture that I found here, and that's what made me go and try to find this. And I found one that was white, but this one's been totally redone, restored totally to a T. But it looks a little bit different. Mine had little silver lines that are in here into it, and a symbol. And that symbol was a Celica symbol, and that's a sea dragon, basically, or off of it. It looks, you know, like it's got a symbolic looking more like that situation. And uh, a lot of people said it was a griffin, so it has that type of appearance to it. And uh, there's a symbol in the middle of the dash, or in the middle of the steering wheel. This still has the same steering wheel. Everything in it is exactly the same that it was, except for the difference is he's painted the front bumper that was chrome white, so that'd be chrome. My had the double lights, but this one wasn't fog light yellow and I had under lights here but this air dam is added special and I forget what you get this from but I remember even back in the day they would say you got it from really what I had was you know that's four inches or five inches uh, I had one that was about two and a half three which is really about the same size as the side runner panel that's here he also has a little uh, rooster tail on the back or a spoiler whatever you want to call it and uh, has been tinted out quite well on his stuff and uh, mine, and it's one of the only ones I've ever seen with it, had an extra, extra piece on here that's chrome with an inset rubber piece that runs right down that line that's on it. But it was made to look a little bit of a cross between a Camaro and maybe a Dodge RT Challenger type, but it was smaller. And then the front end of it looked a little bit more like, I forget what they compared it to, but I think it was some Dodge thing too. And the rear end was made to look like a Mustang. And not this year, didn't complete it well, but the year right after this, they had that butt into it. It was a hatchback, and it literally looked like, you know, a Mach 1 Mustang type of thing, but it was smaller. But this was the first year that was a, a five-speed. And so it was pretty neat. Uh, everything is same on it except for he's done something to his hood here and put little vents into it in my hood I had the one from 1971 on it it had an inset on it that made it look like an air ram but it really didn't do anything he's got extra special wheels that he's put on here and so on and I did put a thicker back wheel on it after I first got it. I've got a picture from like the week I got it and I, whenever I put a sticker in the back window and my brother was taking pictures. And also, this is the back and uh, mine didn't come with a spoiler, but it did, uh, this was chrome and now it's been whited in. But also, my rear lights are a little bit different than that and one of them was a gold set and there was three different sets rather than two in it which is different and it's the same year and the same model but it was slightly different than this too and it seems to be kind of a rare version of, of it to come out this way but the Celica GT was the first Lexus if you will or sports car that had everything with it when it came the only option was you had to ask you had to tell them you didn't want the air conditioner and you could get roll-up windows instead of power windows. You had to tell them that. And uh, they'd basically take it off. And, uh, I mean, it came automatic with a rear window, heater, defog system, 
uh, controlled intermittent wind, uh, windshield wipers, blah, 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 blah. Decent stereo for in it in the first place, but I ended up putting an Alpine into mine. So get a look at this thing. This is what it was really like. But what I did to mine was right there in the very back window at the very bottom, I put a zoo sticker in there. KZEW used to be a radio station around here, and it was real popular. And their symbol was an elephant that looked like one of those old-timey radios from the 1920s that's outer shell, like one of those wooden ones, but the outer shell was made to look like an elephant with tusks with wings on it. So it kind of went with the whole thing I was studying and everything anyhow, but with, you know, that. And you'd really recognize anybody that had one on there and stuff. I'll, I think you can kind of make it out in the picture, and I'll show you mine here and stuff. This dude's in Arizona, and I ironically ran into somebody that was driving another kind of car, but he had a zoo sticker one time when we were driving through Arizona. And I was like, Dallas, what's going on? See that special door handle there? I almost want to click that back just for a second because it's kind of unique. Let's go back to it here. Now that door handle, uh, it clicked out as you pull it out. It clicked out, which was really a neat effect. I'm not catching this at the right time. This is exactly period. This looks just like mine did. It had that mesh part in the knot. The seats were made to match it, the mesh and the knot. Now in his, he's got a golf range ball with the stripes on it and a short stick. Mine had a leather boot that was leather leather and uh, so did this one, but this one was leather leather um, and this one was fake leather, I think, that's around the pop-up deal. Right, also, right in between here and here, I had another little container that was like, uh, the, uh, supposed to have been something you could add one more thing to. Some of them had it here, I said, uh, I heard, and some of them had it on the dash, whatever this is. He's got it on the dash. Mine had it here, but mine did not have it. And, uh, I don't know, a separate fog lamp switch or something, but it had the panel for it. But what's funny is you could reach right up under and pop it up, and then you could put things down inside there and then pop it back down. My stick stuck up to about here, I guess, and it had a mace head that was on it and stuff. And uh, I ended up putting uh, these Jensen speakers that I had into it, replaced the stereo that was in it. This really looks like the stock stereo that came in it. But I replaced mine with an Alpine type that looked like this. Yeah, the, the air and the AC and everything else, it was just really pretty much it. Now, the steering wheel, see how it's got that special steering wheel there that's half vented, and right in the center of that is that Celica symbol. Let's see if we go around here. Anyhow, it's just, I don't know if you like old cars or anything. I, I've gotten into looking at some of the things, so, you know, the nostalgia of myself growing up and everything, and yep, sure enough, that's just like what it was. Yep, 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 yep. And I don't know what he's done to the video. It's shaky, so he ended up putting some, uh, a shake stopper on it, and it makes it look just weird. Now, there's that Celica symbol. I just missed it there, but it was that little winged dragon, but it makes it look like it's made out of a swan or a duck type of thing, almost a water dragon. Pretty neat, though. And, ah, yes, I remember it well. Except mine didn't have the yellow lights. It was just regular. And mine didn't have the little fin on the back. Mine was just regular. But it had the better tail light piece into it. And it was a little bit different than this. Not much, though. Same package. And uh, another thing, too, is here. He's blacked out the little thing that's behind the window. But it was little chrome lines that go on it on black background and vented that sticks up. And it had this little, ooh, Testarossa kind of thing effect. And he's blacked it out totally, but mine uh, still had it on there that was silver. So, I don't know if there's another good picture of it that is worth looking at. Oh, uh, the hood 
pops up forward like this right and uh, it was a 20R so this is the same one mine wasn't red here it was just brush steel looked like it was aluminum heads and everything onto it now he's got headers on this but uh, mine looked the same now there should be an air breather sitting tight on top of this and he doesn't have it there and uh, it almost looks like the engine is backwards from what I saw it so I guess this is being filmed in reverse because the air cleaner should be over here let me see if I remember yeah the air cleaner should be over here in fact there's the spout breather to it right there off the PCB valves and he's got a four barrel put on to it for some reason throttled it up it's considered one of the first sports cars and uh, in a kind of a luxury sports car because it had all of that it had it didn't have the crappy seats it had the good ones and the ones with the you pick your own fabric it didn't have you know boom and they already came packaged out red black and white and they had red black and white interior blah 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 and they were all set up to do like that and they were competing with mustangs and things like that as i said but uh and his sounded pretty but his hood is just solid and it's got those little tiger vents at the top of it if you look at it and uh god that looks wiggly when he's got that effect on it and you can see his four barrel whereas mine didn't have the four barrel type onto it but yeah there's them seats yep that's exactly it there was that celica symbol again but i'm not going to be able to catch it am i as a mm, boom Man, this has got a delay on it just enough to where I'm not catching it. Anyhow, just thought I'd share that with you a little bit. And uh, just brings back some memories for me, actually, you know. And so, in reality, it was my first car that I had, but, uh, I had gotten one before that. My dad had gotten this car, and it was originally silver. Now you can see those side vents pretty good right on there, but he blacked them out. And it had that four sets of the little combs that are on it and stuff that were metallic. But, so, but my dad had gotten it, and it was silver, and he had it repainted, and the engine worked on and everything, and had it fixed all up, and... In reality, he told me later after I got the car and everything that he wanted to get that for himself to fix up after he got it, even though he was shopping for my car for me to get. So um, we tried to get another car, and he had gotten a little bug about fixing up cars. He used to fix up cars a bunch whenever he was in the service and before he got in the service and growing up and everything, so wanted to get that. So I don't know if y'all can even see this. Let me see if we can get that there. There we go, ladies. That's me. Oh, God, is it even going to focus? It's really not greatly focused. Anyhow, so there's a Chevette in the background that's like powder blue, sky blue. And uh, it's got racing wheels on it. So I took the back racing wheels and put it on mine. And it made them wider, just like this guy's has got right here. So it ended up sticking out like that. But back in the day, the thing was to have skinny wheels. And so I've got skinnies in the front. That's our old backyard, and it lead it out to a field, but the behind my head is the school that we used to have. So it's pretty neat and kind of memorable to you know, find this picture and everything. I was like, oh, my God, this is when I got my first car. Right up under my armpit there with my hand on the car, you can see that zoo sticker I was talking about, and I just put it on. I haven't put the little red pinstriping, but I've got the black down the edge of it. What I did above that, now that's that black, which is actually some kind of rubber inside of metal and that stripping that you used to see all on all kinds of cars and it was made to go on there because there was a little piece of it was coming off and it had real rivets through it and so you could tell that you know it was you know coming off and everything and uh you could get them to move and slide in that little purple stuff too so i know you could pull that out of it too and just make it to be all chrome but it had that little rubber inside of it inset inside of silver on top and bottom and so that went around right along this line that was here and I uh, uh, put a pinstripe above it that was thin red and then another one that was thin black and went all around the car and that matched everything that kind of went on to it 
and I wanted to do a little more to it. Never got around a chance to, and ended up wrecking it. Uh, I was in a band by then and everything and stuff, but uh, I found a picture of my old first apartment, which is just real shitty. I mean, this is 35 millimeter cameras, and this is an old Kodak shit or something like that. Now, that thing on the right-hand side of the picture is an old uh, uh, Van Halen, Women and Children First, uh, promotional poster that I got from uh, the KZW radio station itself and it was signed by the band and shit and everything so that was pretty cool and uh, one more picture I just found in the group because I don't want to put a bunch I've got to found a bunch where I was scuba diving all kinds of stuff here's an actual Cayman that I used to own yeah Orinoco Basin Cayman and anyhow so you can see that's the same car bam but I don't have the little fin on the back of it and my rims are different they have chrome in inside of them and the little inserts like pies they're like rally wheels but that wasn't even cool I put those other ones over there onto it and they had a, a better the two that are on it had a better thing than that so a lot wider of a rim or of a tire that were on it. The other ones were 13s, and I forget how wide they were, but it really wasn't that great. So anyhow, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. A little bit of nostalgia and something to, something to keep a memory of that first car. Da-da-da-da. Oh, I was going to play this. But I hadn't seen this in a long time. Anyhow, yeah, that's like 16, 1978, early April, around my birthday. Peace.